guys experienced those off driving before? Uh, I'd heard about it, but that's really neat. I love that it senses people walking and everything. Yeah, it's so neat. It's just amazing how far we've come. You know, I remember when power steering was a big old deal. And now you got internet on your phone and yeah. Bluetooth to everything. And kids are lucky. But then in the same breath, I just had my first grandson this last year. Okay. And I've noticed how technology is like taken away from the personal aspect of it. It's sad to watch that. But it's also super awesome to be able to be like, oh, well, I wonder if there's a pet store nearby. And then you Google it and there's yes. 42 pet stores. And it'll tell you how many steps it takes to get to the pet store. And, you know, I remember having to travel across the country and not having that, you know, having to like write down directions and take a real map. And yeah. that was hardcore. <laughs> How's your day going for you guys? Uh, well, it was going great, and then my truck broke down. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, oh, it happens. It's fun life. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a, it's a machine. It, it, yeah, they're gonna it really. Break down. It does break, and down. I get a lot of love out of it. So okay. I can't really complain. It's just uh -huh. one of those things that happens. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm glad you guys are safe. Have you guys experienced uh, self driving before? Uh, I'd heard about it, but that's really neat. Yeah. It would just like, give me anxiety, I feel like. <laughs> up there, if I was up there, I'd be like, oh god, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, it keeps I don't like understand. a good distance from people and stuff. Mm, oh yeah, it's very... It, it's smart? It's, it's smart and it's very... It drives it, even more conservatively than the, of course, the human... Yeah, the people would, exactly. Yeah. So people it's extremely safe. Anything. Correct. Have you, have you heard um, Tesla was working on like full self-driving? Has been working on full self-driving before? Uh, where you could like go to sleep and it would just drive itself then? Oh, no, no, we're, yeah, the technology is not there yet, but then like, um, have, like, have you ever been told like Tesla has been working on this thing? Yeah, I've heard about it. I heard about it. How long have you had this? Uh, this car, one year. Nice. Uh-huh, and then previously, um, I drove Model 3 for like three years, so. Oh, so you love Tesla. Yeah, since I started driving Tesla, I'm like. So there's just nothing that compares to it? Exactly, yeah. It's got all the luxury. So aren't they making a Tesla truck? Yeah, Cybertruck, yeah. It's yeah, uh I would like I think I would be lean more towards that. I would love to get that as well. It's bulletproof too. So because I like the truck feeling more than the car feeling. Yeah. I feel so little in the car. <laughs> you know, especially <laughs> I, know after I drove my truck for years. Yeah. And so I'm just used to being really high up. And yeah. So like riding like this seems so low to the ground. Yeah, I, I'm with you because um uh, the um, main reason why I switched the car from Model 3 to Y is so that I could sit higher. But yeah, to feel like you're a little higher. Exactly. But higher the better, so... Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I love that it senses people walking and everything. Yeah, it's, it's so neat. It sees everything. It, it's got eight cameras all around the car. So it sees... It's um, really cool that it could do all that stuff, you it, know? Yeah, it's quite mind-blowing for sure. It's just amazing how far we've come. Yes. You know, I remember when power steering was a big old deal to get mm. power steering and stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, the internet and all that. Like I didn't grow up with the internet or a cell phone or yeah. anything like that. You know, I was born in 84. Yeah. And they didn't have any, like rich people mm. were the first ones like the internet and stuff. And right. I came from a family of, you know, 10 of us. Wow. So there was like no way we could have that kind of stuff. You know? Yeah. And now you got internet on your phone and Correct. you have other people internet off your phone. Yeah. <laughs> you can do all kinds of stuff. It's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. And Bluetooth to everything. And yeah. Wow. They're lucky. Kids are lucky. But then in the same breath, I just had my first grandson this last year. Okay. And I've Correct. noticed how technology has like taken away from the personal aspect of it. You know, like how parents are like here's a tablet or whatever but they're not sitting there like playing blocks with their kids anymore yeah they're just putting blocks on a tablet and like handing it to them mm -hmm. and then you're like oh well or they're sitting there like on their phone staring at their phone the whole time and yeah. don't have conversations and you know don't have conversations with the baby and you know it's yep. just um it's sad to watch that it, like because when i had my kids mm -hmm. i didn't have a phone and stuff like when I, my kids were first little like my oldest is 24 this year or 25 this year. Wow. And so, wow. um, 
you know, he didn't, I didn't have a phone when he was little mm -hmm. and all my attention was just on him. Mm -hmm. And so we try to do stuff where like these two of my youngest ones that we go places where phones aren't even accessible. Right. Can't even no reception. No service. Yeah. Yes. Like that national parks. My yes. undivided attention is just theirs because I know that that is such a big deal nowadays. People don't give them, like, people don't give anybody their undivided attention. Mm -hmm. It's constantly in the middle of talking, Correct. texting somebody, or, Correct. you know, answering a Snapchat, or yes. I'll be in the middle of talking to my daughter-in-law, and she'll be snapping 12 pictures of her own face, and mm -hmm. and I'll be like, are we still talking? Yeah. Or no, because that seems so rude to me. Yeah. <laughs> that we're trying to talk, and you're snapping somebody, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it, it's, the, it's very, very concerning um, for, yeah, many people including myself and uh it's uh just the like, kids are not like not present you know like yeah. the all the social media and the smartphones they're yeah taking that away from uh yeah younger generations like I remember gen z we, uh, we had to worry about like kids at school so maybe 25 30 kids at school would be you know jerks or something now we gotta worry about millions on the internet yeah you post one picture and you know you got millions of people ready to be ugly at little kids and ugly at parents and all this is just crazy i come from like a live and let live kind of mentality you know mm -hmm. where i'm like as long as you're not doing anything that's harmful or that directly affects me i love that you're living your life you know yes and I wish that people would feel that way about everybody. Mm -hmm. It's like, as long as it's not directly affecting them, why make it like this big to do, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Technology definitely has like both uh, sides. Yeah. Positive, good and bad. But it's also super awesome to be able to be like, oh, well, I wonder if there's a pet store nearby. And then you Google it and there's yes. 42 pet stores and it'll tell you how many steps it takes to get to the pet store. And, you know, I remember having to travel across the country and not having that, you know, having to like write down directions and take a real map. And yeah. That was hardcore, you know? Yes. Because you think of how much gas you wasted and stuff. Yes. And now you're like, oh, well, shoot, this is 400 miles, you know, less. Yes. And that matters when you drive a big truck, you know? Yes. Probably yeah. not so much in the Tesla. Every year. <laughs> <laughs> but it does for me. Yes. Yeah. Because it's not cheap. No. Yeah. Yeah. Things, things, thanks to uh, technology, things are very, very convenient yeah, yeah. for us. So. But I feel like with convenience comes a new level of lazy. Correct. Laziness so, and then... Yeah. People, I remember when people would go to school and they would just absorb as much knowledge as they could every day and, you know, go in the library and stuff like that. And yeah. People are like, I'll just Google it. Yeah. You know? it, it, well, even like, you know, have you heard of ChatGPT and stuff? Uh-uh. Chat. Okay. So like it's an AI tool oh another ai thing yeah, yeah. so like e even google is becoming an old thing so you just like ask ai and the mm -hmm. ai will just tell you everything that's funny yeah google is already convenient enough but like google compared yeah, to that google is like now. yeah last now it's yeah. not convenient enough yeah because you more convenient. <laughs> correct because you just you just give you an answer right away you don't have to scroll up and down yeah, click and into like a different link you don't, yep just like boom here's the answer it's almost like yeah so. i remember the first time my one of my older kids um googled something that i had said to them mm -hmm. and i was like oh my goodness the wow. just google fact check me yeah <laughs> yeah that's just like the generation that we're in now you know yes yes actually but i'll find myself telling the kids you know look yeah. it up <laughs> look it up look it up i don't know if i don't know i'm not gonna sit here and tell you exactly information. look it up you know, i would rather you look it up and then you could tell me and we both know yes yeah that way the next time someone has i don't have to say look it up i could tell them <laughs> but people aren't doing it to absorb knowledge anymore yes yeah yeah I, live off the bare minimum of the yeah. knowledge these days yeah i think that it's that's like um the 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 i think the takeaway from it is basically like you know, we are pretty much too dependent on like technology. Yes. Yeah, that's like another. If it all shut off, what would people do? Exactly. Yeah. Like they wouldn't even know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. If the whole internet thing goes out, let's say like it's no longer available for everybody for like a, a day, what are we going to do? Yeah, because they don't realize how much like every POS system everything it all runs off the internet Correct. like the internet goes down at a store you can't pay for stuff anymore unless it's cash yep and then some of the pos systems are set up that are brand new now so 
you know, without like certain levels of, of something going on, nothing's going to happen. Correct. You know? Correct. No banks, no nothing. Nothing. Nothing works in this world, modern world, for sure. And it would be so scary to go back instantly to primitive. Yeah. With nothing, you know? That definitely does sound like, um, be a little bit terrifying. Apocalypse, yeah. I feel like people would go crazy. Yeah, I think like, I think you've so. Seen, like videos of like kids getting their cell phone taken, or like a video game, or like people not having access to the internet in a restaurant. Or, yeah, you know, and they'll just they get anxious, angry, yeah. upset. It's kind of like a drug thing or something. Like it is addicted to it, and now they're like physically yeah. ill over it. Yes, and that's crazy to me. Yeah. I will shut off my phone on purpose and then people will be like, well, however, I didn't feel like peopling today, <laughs> you know, yeah. or like not say anything on like social media for months at a time until people start being like, great, you okay? Yeah, right. I'm like, no, no I'm straight on. just living. Yeah. Living my life not yeah. on social media, so. Exactly. I will say the same thing. I will say, I'm just taking care of my mental health. Yeah, I just take care of me and do my stuff. Yeah. I feel like you're a lot more present if you're not constantly on the phone. Facts. Yeah. I think it's fine. For sure. And it's just so much more beneficial to the kids to have more hands-on. You walk places like we went in Circus Circus. Yeah. And there's so many people trying to capture the snap videos that you're not, they're not even like paying attention or, exactly. or they're turning it into where the kids aren't having fun. They're getting crammed into this little picture circle and, you know, getting told to smile and all this and you yes. know, you're like. But they're not even having fun. You know? Yeah. Yeah. To a certain degree, like unfortunately, social media, uh, to be to be exact, like it is kind of manipulating people at this point. You know, especially kids. We just don't know. Yeah. It's very addicting. Yeah. It's for sure. And because it's so new, they don't know the outcome. Yeah. You know, so we're st we're like very fat true. rats, kind of. You know, like they're gonna experiment and then whatever happens kind of happens and then we'll go from there yeah and that's such a scary thought it is to just allow your like kids to get into that world when you don't know how that world's gonna end up yeah that's a great point we don't know if, even the social media like those who made the uh, social media like facebook you know creator mark zuckerberg you name it they don't know either they have no idea they just keep going though because it's their business model yeah yeah well, because they care about the money the yeah. most. Yeah. You know, notoriety, the money. Yes. Infamy. Yeah. You know, there's no one who doesn't know who Mark Zuckerberg is, you know? Yeah, true. And I guarantee you before he did all that, no one even knew who he was, you know? Correct. Yeah. And no one would fix their face to say Zuckerberg. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so yeah. They're not going to give it up, even if it is harmful in the long run they look at it like well it's gonna make me money until the long run so yeah you know yeah it doesn't make any difference to them yeah i think he was painting that oh yeah <laughs> it kind of understands uh hand gesture too nice believe it or not which is kind of crazy so yeah the that is and it just goes yeah it's like oh okay kind of scary but cool yeah a little bit creepy i think yeah right. you have the technology it's a little creepy first yes we're gonna keep scooting up keep scooting up. yep pulling up pulling up and then it's right here right yes yeah and then it parks right at the curb yeah that's fine we usually have a nice truck on my doorway look my team. Yeah. awesome well it's great talking to you for us i appreciate that oh, and awesome it pops yep i did it for you well, thank you uh-huh no problem. You guys have a good night. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. See you next time. I had a lot of fun talking to her, and uh, she definitely, I think she appreciated the technology of full self driving, and she definitely loved it. So it's good to good to see. All right. Thanks for watching. I think uh, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna keep going, but I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Have a good night. Bye.